two very young men from Yatago police station are waiting for us in their ill-fitting dirt-stained uniforms. They bow and they salute, they greet us and they apologise, but I can't hear a word they say. Tong tong, tong tong, tong tong, tong tong, tong tong. The uniformed policemen lead us off the road, away from the sound of the hammering and into the temple grounds. Huge scorched trees, their roots to the sky. There is nothing much left of Zojoji Temple since it was burnt to the ground in the May air raids of last year, branches charred and leaves lost. The two uniforms lead us through the ashes and up the hill, out of the sunlight and into the shadow. The grave's forgotten here. This place is overgrown and its paths lost. The bamboo grass taller than a man and as thick as the insects that cloud the air. This place of foxes and badgers, of rats and crows, of abandoned dogs that run in packs with a newfound taste for human flesh. In this place of assignation, of prostitutes, of suicides, this place of silence, this place of death, she is here. In this sudden clearing where the tall grass has been flattened and the sun has found her, she is here, lying naked on her back, her head slightly to the left, her right arm outstretched, her left at her side, she is here, her legs parted, raised and bent at the knee, she is here, possibly 21 years old and probably 10 days dead, Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu, there is a piece of red material around her neck, Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu, this is not a suicide, this is murder, Namu Amida Butsu. This case, ours. I curse her. I look at my watch, Chikutaku. It is almost noon, Chikutaku. It is August the 15th, 1946. The defeat and the capitulation, the surrender and the occupation. The ghosts are all here today. I curse her. I curse myself. It has been one year. Do you want more?